China's Yang Chen won the first gold medal of the Tokyo Olympics with a win in the women's 10-meter rifle competition. Noiza Takato won Japan's first gold medal at its home Olympics, beating Taiwan's Yang Youngwei in the men's 60 kg judo final. China leads the medal tally after day one with three gold and a bronze medal. Italy and Japan winning a gold and a silver to run second. Yang was the sixth-placed qualifier for the final then produced an Olympic record score of 251.8 to top the podium on Saturday. Russian shooter Anastasia Galashina, 251.1, finished in second place, while the bronze medal went to Switzerland's Nina Krissen, 230.6. An overjoyed Yang beamed that her gold medal was a gift to my country, I'm so proud. The 28-year-old Takato atoned for his disappointing bronze medal performance in Rio de Janeiro five years ago with a hair-raising run to the Tokyo final at the venerable Nippon Budokan Arena, the site of judo's introduction to the Olympics in 1964. An Algerian judo athlete, meanwhile, will be sent home from the Tokyo Olympics after he withdrew from the competition to avoid potentially facing an Israeli opponent. Fethi Nareen and his coach, Amar Ben Eklef, told Algerian media they were withdrawing to avoid a possible second-round matchup with Israel's Tohar Bubal in the men's 73 kg division on Monday. The International Judo Federation's Executive Committee temporarily suspended Nareen and Ben Eklef, who are likely to face sanctions beyond the Olympics. The Algerian Olympic Committee withdrew both men's accreditation and made plans to send them home. The IJF said Nareen's position was in total opposition to the philosophy of the International Judo Federation. The IJF has a strict non-discrimination policy, promoting solidarity as a key principle, reinforced by the values of judo. A German cyclist, a Dutch rower and a Portuguese surfer have become the latest Olympic athletes forced to miss competition after testing positive for COVID-19. Tour de France rider Simon Geschk withdrew from Saturday's cycling road race, one of the marquee early events of the Tokyo Games. Dutch rower Finn Florine was shattered after testing positive for COVID-19 after competing in the men's single skulls on Friday. The 21-year-old had finished in fourth in his heat and was to have contested a repechage race on Saturday. His case comes after a staff member of the Dutch rowing team, as well as two other Dutch athletes, Taekwondo competitor Rishmi Oajink and skateboarder Candy Jacobs, also tested positive for COVID-19 earlier in the week. Meanwhile, 29-year-old Portuguese surfer Frederico Morais issued a statement on social media, saying, This is likely the saddest video I've ever had to post. In 2019 I qualified for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics that were postponed because of COVID-19. And now, because of the virus I won't be able to compete nor represent my country. The Portuguese Olympic team said Morais, considered to be the best European surfer at the Games, would not travel to Tokyo as planned.